Okay, Ricardo, why, why did you have the machinery come here to this reservoir, this trunk? Because we need more water. We don't have too much. Okay, not enough water for the farm. What was the original size of this uh, reservoir? Here, you can see the little. Oh, right there. So where Antonio is swimming and where the little uh, yes. line, the barrier, yeah. the mud is, that's the size of the original chonke? Yes. And now this one is going to be, oh my goodness, maybe, I don't know, three or four times bigger? Three times more. Big one. How many days have these contractors been scooping up? Just uh, from Monday. Okay, so they've been here since Monday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, tomorrow they finish. They'll finish tomorrow. So they'll be here an entire week digging this out. And the idea is for this reservoir, this trunk to fill up with water. Yes. And this, what will the water inside this reservoir be used for? For the orange. Okay, so this water will be siphoned off and it'll be used to... Uh, for uh, putting water the orange. To water the orange trees. Uh, and how many water orange trees are there on the land? I think it was nice. 15,000. Uh, yes, um, around 15,000 trees. Trees. Plus, uh, the nogal is, uh, Plus walnuts. Walnut is uh, 1,380 1, walnut. 1, walnut trees. Yes, sir. And this will be a water source for them once this gets filled up. Yes, and so what's going to happen is that uh, you pointed out that there's a little sluiceway right here. La compuerta. La compuerta and water will enter this uh, reservoir uh. from this compuerta and it will also come from right behind here there is this dried up canal and the reason that you're building up this trunk is because the canal waters have um, gone dry this season normally this canal is fed by water from the Aconcagua River yes. but that's dry uh. and so now there's only one day a week this um, Sunday. The Sunday this canal will be filled with water where will it come from? From Los Andes. From for Los, the, for Los Andes. From Los Andes, all the way down through riverways and canals to here. Yeah, they're coming from, uh, from, from Los Andes to Rio Concagua. The Rio Concagua, we, they take it, I don't know what it is. Okay, it'll go from Los Andes to the Rio Concagua, the Aconcagua River. And there we, we, they split. And there they split? Exactly, the water. Oh, so it'll come from many cities, from Kyoto and from Nogales and other places. Oh my goodness. Well, Ricardo, will any water come from, uh, come up from the ground up into this um, reservoir, or will all the water come that comes from, come from the canal? Yes, just from the canal. Just from the canal. All right. Now I think I understand this. So it looks like the workmen are done from the day with the two earth movers. Uh, and by tomorrow they'll be finished. Yes. And we'll see the results. All right. So now you have all this information straight from the Patron. <laughs> so this is true information with PT at Large on January mm, 9th, 2011. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Patron. Thank you, Ricardo. Let's go have once. Ah, now we're going to have once onto the porch. More coming up later. As you can see, we'll head over there into the fields. And the farmhouse is beyond these trees up on the little hillock. Time for once. It's about 6 o'clock. All right, everybody. PT at Large signing off. You've had, this has been mm, Chile Farms Factoid Adventure number several. <laughs>